Hey guys, it's Ray again from PandaCanDo.com. Uh, today I want to do a very brief thing about a very cool thing um, a lot of people may not know about uh, that comes in handy all the time. And it's neodymium magnets. So what's a neodymium magnet? It's like, um, it's like a natural uh, magnet that you get on your fridge or something. But it's super strong in comparison for its size. Um, and so it becomes a lot more useful all those things that you thought, oh, a magnet would be good for that, and then the magnet that you used off your fridge or you got somewhere f falls off, and you think, oh, well, that didn't work, I'll have to glue it next time. Well, you can get neodymium magnets. Um, you can get them at Home Depot, you can get them online, you can get them at Amazon. We may eventually carry them, uh, if I can get a good source for them. Something I'll look into soon. I, I want to kind of add them to some of our survival tin kits, um, these little guys. And these normally have a uh, sticker on them, um, but this is just inventory, so I haven't put the sticker on yet. Well, I don't put the sticker on, they, they come with one, this is why. Um, and this is just a candle, one of our two ounce, 100% uh, organic USA uh, made beeswax poured uh, by ourselves here. Uh, here's a little um, a striker, it doesn't come with these candles at this time, but uh, we may make a listing that, that comes with a striker, a uh, ferrocerium rod is what I mean. And, but we did then have to include some kind of a striker um, to scrape it with to get the spark. Um, so beeswax candle, but we also make um, little survival ones with fishing line and all that. We have bobbins we put in these um, that are wrapped with fishing line and thread, wire, snare wire, all that stuff. And little medic pocket medical kits and all that kind of stuff. Um, so the reason I'm showing you this is um, you can then get your package of super magnets, uh, which are neodymium. Um, they look like shiny steel, like that. And you see these ones got a little hole through the center there. And there's a set of them. Uh, there was 12 in this set. And so I can break, there's two off that broke off. So very tiny. Um, you can see these ones are some of the really small ones. Um, they make a lot bigger ones, of course. Um, so what's the point of all this? Well, they're, they're really strong, you know, a magnet that size off your fridge wouldn't, wouldn't hold the kind of weight, um, that this has, and here I have another tin, a half ounce tin handy, and you can't do that with a regular magnet, I mean, you see that broke loose finally, and it just grabbed again on the bottom, you know, you don't get that kind of, that kind of holding power, um, a lot of this floor in this ultimate survival truck slash my business um, shipping truck is uh, aluminum so it won't stick to that but this panel up here uh, no that's aluminum too this one over here where this line is becomes steel so I can show you with that <coughs> that that really wants to grab and it is just super strong um, uh, and it's hard to, to really show uh, a strength test on this. Um, let's see, is that aluminum? No, that's steel. So there's a can of, um, I did a video on that before, some heavy duty silicon uh, lubricant. And you can see it's, it's just amazing, these magnets. So you can think, um, one of the things we're thinking about doing is uh, putting these in with these tins. Because um, it would be great to have a nice little magnet. It would be great to take our little survival tins and be able to... Uh, we might get a little wider magnet so we don't have to use as many for the strength. But it might be nice to take our survival, be able to have our survival tins and put them to your truck uh, dash, you know, or stick one to the fridge and have a little first aid kit on the fridge or, um, or anywhere else. Or maybe you want to use one of our tins for a hide a key under the truck. That'd be good. Or maybe a hide a first aid kit, a hide a survival kit somewhere. Um, so we're thinking about that, and they have a little hole in them, so there's some possibilities there with them, um, you know, maybe hooking fishing line to it and using this as a as a way of attaching to things um, and all that type of stuff. So just a quick video. These things are great if you want to check them out. Oh, excuse me. Try them. Just had breakfast. <laughs> uh, try them. Um, they're cool. And we'll see you in the next video. And let us know if you have any questions about these or when we might carry them and that kind of stuff.